hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this lace front wig so she is already braided down so i'm just going to cut the two sides of the cap and begin by spraying some got to be glue free spray on her hair i'm going to add two coats of this spray So I'm going in with my needle and thread and I'm just going to sew around the cap. So now that the cap is sewn down, I'm going in with the blow dryer on cool settings and wait until the cap is fully dry. Then I'm going in with my Ruby Kiss foundation in her skin complexion. I'm going to apply it on her cap. Now that the cap is fully dry, I'm going to begin by cutting off the cap. So now I'm just cleaning off the side of her hair with alcohol and I'm going to again by placing the cap on her hair and I'm going to let her hold down each side whilst I position the cap on her hair. placing some skin protector on her skin so that the lace would not irritate her I'm just going in with some bold hold glue and I'm going to begin by placing this on her hair and I'm using the back of a razor to spread out the glue evenly I'm going to be applying four coats of glue to her hair so as I apply the glue I wait for it to turn clear and then I put on my next coat So now that the first coat of glue is dry, I'm just going ahead with my second coat and I'm just going to repeat this until I have four coats. So now that I have finished all four coats, I'm going to place the wig on her head. I'm going to have her hold down the two sides of the lace whilst I use the comb to melt in the lace. I also use my blow dryer on heat setting to help me melt the lace. I'm going in with my hot comb so that the heat that is transferring from the hot comb could melt the lace even more. I'm going to tie the hair in the back so it could move out of my way whilst I tie down the front of her hair with an elastic band. 
and this also helps the lace to melt in. So I'm going to be leaving it on for five minutes. So after five minutes, I just took it off and I'm going to begin by cutting off the lace with the scissors. When cutting the lace, you do not want to cut the lace into a straight line. You want it to cut it in a jagged form so that you can have a more natural hairline. So now that the lace is cut off, I'm going to be parting my hair in the middle part. And now I'm just going to be taking out some baby hair to get them out the way. So after taking the baby hair out of the way, I'm just going in with my Tresemme hole spray and I'm going to spray the hairline and I'm going to tie it down for 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, I'm just going to be starting on the baby hair. So I'm going to be plucking out the baby hairs with a tweezer. And after I've plucked to my liking, I'm going to cut the baby hairs with a razor. I use got to be glue for my baby hairs and I'm going in with my baby hair brush and swooping the baby hairs into place.
Now I'm going in with my hot comb and I'm just flattening out the top so that the wig can lay nice and flat. And I'm going to be tying up the hair so that I can tie down the baby hair so that they can mold. So I'm just clearing out the hair with a wig brush and I'm going to grab my spray bottle to wet the hair. And I'm going to apply some noodle hair to the hair to define the curls. So guys, this is the finished look. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please leave comments to let me know how do you like this hairstyle if you want to see more videos of me installing hair on my clients just let me know below. So this is the end of the video as you guys can see this wig is slid and melted. Hope you guys enjoy. Comment below if you guys want to see me do more looks or you guys can comment and let me know what kind of looks do you want me to do. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.